It was a long journey in every respect. After a 15-hour flight from his French prison, Noriega returned to Panama, 21 years after his arrest by U.S. troops and extradition. Obscured by security, he was taken inside for medical checks. The 77-year-old could face up to 20 years for the killings of political rivals. And more victims of his dictatorship will likely bring their cases forward now. But Noriega has the right to appeal. On the one side, he can go to house arrest, but that would mean not defending himself. And on the other side, if he wants to prove his innocence, he will have to accept spending maybe the last years he has to stay alive be behind bars. Today, a few Panamanians remember Noriega's rule in the 80s firsthand. I don't really care what happens to him. I wasn't born when he ruled. I've heard of what he did, but what happens to him isn't important. Yet many are still curious. This was Noriega's mansion, but the place is abandoned right now. And we heard that people actually broke in and stole most of the objects that he had that were worth anything. Noriega's new home is a cell inside this prison outside the capital, near the canal that anchors this country's economy. Panama has moved on, but the general, who was the strong man, still faces his homeland's judgment. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, outside Gamboa Prison in Panama.